Hey guys, Kaiser here. Welcome to the second part of my DPSS guides. In this episode, I'm going to explain how to make free damage with no animation at all during the raids. We all know here, or we should know how to clip, but let's make a short explanation about what is clipping. Basically, clipping is capturing a power animation without losing the damage that power deals to the target, in most of the cases. During the raids, we are not constantly DPS, there are parts in where we have to dodge, we need to pick up a fallen friend, we run out of power, every time we stop or interrupt our rotation and we are on the need of starting with it again, we can add extra damage. How? It's pretty easy. Before starting our rotation, we are going to tap range, and before we can set the tap range animation, we clip with it the first power of our rotation. This technique works wonders in ranged fights. In melee fights, using a melee weapon, there is no need to add an extra tap because you directly go for the melee attack. So use this for ranged fights and your DPS will be boosted by a lot. So let's do it. We tap range, then we use a power. We tap range, we use a power. And a little bit faster, we tap range and we use a power. We tap range and we use a power. As you can see, we get free damage. There's no animation of the tap range, there's no animation of the grenade, and we are getting free damage. So every time we need to start a rotation, adding this tap range is going to increase our DPS. The weapon damage is free. It doesn't consume any power. So basically, by doing this, we are adding free damage to our DPS without any special effort. If it may not be much, but imagine every time you need to restart with your rotation, you do this. At the end of the raid, your damage will be increased by a lot. And it may be the difference between being first, or being second, or being third, or being horrible. And many players ask me why are they getting up DPS by others when, in their opinion, they are doing the same as them. The answer is easy. There are details that can make the difference between a good DPS and a poor DPS. And this is one of these details. Same as how to rotate trinkets. If you don't know how to do extra damage when it's needed, if you don't know how to rotate trinkets properly, you are going to lose a lot of damage. And that loss of damage, it will cause you to be second or to be third or to be the worst DPS in the world. So for how to do trinkets, you can check my latest video in where I explain how to rotate them properly. And at this point, we all should have done a lot of raids, we should be experienced enough in our role, which is DPS. -ing. But don't forget on what you can do better to improve your DPS. Try to use these tricks whenever you can, and I can assure you that your DPS is going to increase. And this is all, I hope this trick was helpful, and see you soon!